who called it? Who called it? Who said? Who said that it's gonna be linked? Who said it? She did. <laughs> it was me! Round of applause to Brendan though. Oh, so much is going on right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Samantha B, Samantha B Vlogs, and this right here is my best friend, Sadie. Hey! What is happening with Panic at the Disco? Which has been blowing the internet since 2 o'clock this afternoon. So we know that there was two numbers involved with what they were throwing at us. It was 319 and 321. 319 happened, we know that that was a concert that we actually went to next Sunday. There'll be a video posted about that, our experience with it, and how he didn't actually play new songs. He would rather everyone hear the recorded version first instead of the live version. But we did drive a while to get there. Nine Just and a half hours. Yeah, nine and a half hours. We went through a lot. We were expecting something since it was 319 was extremely hyped up and we were a little disappointed but now that we know everything we're kind of okay with it. We will be playing the two new songs at the next show. It is 321. Twitter blew up. Instagram, YouTube, a a anything. Panic at the Disco threw up over social media. Yeah. One tweet would come out, I would start reading it, and then midway through, more would pop up, and I would have to click on that, and I just couldn't fully read everything. It was, it was overwhelming. I'm still panicking. Still panicking. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. He did release the album today. Not all the songs. Just two. Only two. The video was out of this world. <laughs> One of the songs is called, it's called F*** a Silver Lining. <laughs> One of the like details he gave us about, he like said a whole bunch of times yeah. in the chorus. And he was like, I apologize, but it's good. And I was like, great. <laughs> the other one is Say Amen Saturday Night, which is also the music video. Oh, the music video! James Bond like Fortnite and uh... PUBG. He will be on Jimmy Fallon tonight, so. We will update you, you can pause it, you can take notes. Stay here, because we're releasing some good shiz. <laughs> the music video, by the way, is real gruesome. It's gruesome. Oh, who called it? Who called it? Who said, who said that it's gonna be linked with This Is Gospel and, uh, and, uh, okay. Emperor's, Emperor's New, Clothes. New Clothes? Who said it? She did. <laughs> it was me! Um, the, This Is Gospel, where he dies, into Emperor's New Clothes, where he is in hell. Say Amen is, it tells us how he died and why he died. So many questions about it, like what the heck is that key? The girl came out of nowhere and freaking, yeah, watch the video. Yes. Please, watch the video, please, we won't spoil it. Like, oh! Oh. He was approved for the tour dates a week and a half ago. Only a week and a half ago. And the first one is July 11th. The album comes out June 22nd. And tickets are available March 30th. Nine days away. It's super soon! And make sure to go check out their website and buy a bundle so you'll get early access to it. You'll get a code in your email. He does have a new bass player. Dallin Weeks is not a part of Panic at the Disco anymore. So Dallin Weeks did start his own band. It's called I Don't Know How But They Found Me. The new bassist. Her panic at the disco is... Her name is Nicole Rowe. I don't know how we feel about that. It's a boy band. Like... Yeah. And I feel kind of salty. <laughs> she's good. Yeah, she's good. You know? But, you know, boy band. Even though they're not boys anymore. Yeah. Um, Brendan is the youngest one. Yeah. He's still cute, though. Of course. Sarah, Sarah's a lucky gal. On Jimmy Fallon tonight, he is going to be playing Say Amen. He was also asked if he will be performing something else. He would be playing something from his childhood, like a cartoon. Do we get any hints? And Brendan just goes, crack, crack. <laughs> so we'll, we'll find out tonight. I don't know. He will be dropping 12 to 15 new songs, but he won't be really announcing them. He's kind of going to pull a Drake with the God's plan and just they'll pop up. Sporadically, yeah. I, Sounds good to me. He said they're not quite finished yet, but they're getting there. He always involves Pete somehow. He has a music video idea and it involves puppets. He has a set character for Pete. Yes. And he wants him to be in a video. 
but Pete hasn't agreed yet because they're not 100% sure about it. And but he I'll, has to. Yeah, he has, he has to. to. Like, he has no choice. You are in it till the end. If you weren't on tour last year, he was in transition when he was going to play This Is Gospel acoustic. He was on the screen involved. His favorite song is High Hopes, and everyone behind the camera kind of gave him bad hints, and he was like, yep. Poor Brendan. He's so excited, he just wants to get it out there, but his managers and producers are just like, no. He hush, hush. Someone called him up and was like, hey, can you kind of keep this quiet right now? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. But he's just so excited. He's like, there for us. We can talk about what Pray for the Wicked kind of means. He reveals who he is, like, through this album. Yes. He likes to go back in time and then push it all out for us. Personal stuff. Childhood, his culture, past realizations, and he also questions, who am I trying to be? He also has a song dedicated to his mom. If you haven't seen the album cover, it doesn't really relate to... Pray for the Wicked. Pray for the Wicked. I thought it was going to be more dark Yeah, and wicked, you know? Emperor's New Clothes. Yes. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's cute. I like it. Round of applause to Brendan, though. That was smart. For you so just smart. created something so new it that no one else up. thought about. You got a, You had us on our toes until the end. Keep it up. Keep it coming. It's but new. hold on, let me breathe. If you're watching this now and you watched my previous video on the bottle reveal of what I got in a package, thank you for all the comments and the views and the likes. I love it. Keep it coming. If you want to see more, please comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am a dedicated fan. We're here to update you about everything about Panic at the Disco. Woo! That is our love. Stay tuned for the Jimmy Fallon show tonight. It's I, gonna I just, be good. I, I can't. And There's his, a really high note. Which his high notes. Woo! Oh my gosh. Peace. Eh. Bye. Hey guys, oh ow. Something that I noticed in Say Amen Saturday Night. I've been listening to it nonstop. Brendan at one point in one of his lives, Instagram said that he was gonna use a lot of transitioning from song to song in his last tour. At exactly one minute in Say Amen, there's a part that sounds like this. in his live album from hallelujah into nine in the afternoon a slower version of that same sound so yeah i wanted to point that out so there's no song right now called pray for the wicked and say amen one of his lyrics is pray for the wicked on the weekend he named his album probably from say amen could also be one of the 12 to 15 that he'll be releasing eventually we're about all right we're about to watch jimmy fallon and then give you the deets on what's happening with that how amazing he sounds when he sings yeah stay tuned for us today if you ever say that brendan yuri can't sing you you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong there's a huge high note just listen just listen it's I got the chills, he's so good, I guess. <laughs> DuckTales was the cartoon he was gonna sing. That was pretty funny. Yo, he's a really good performer, and he's also very dedicated and emotive. He's a really great performer. If you haven't listened to his songs, definitely go do that and please watch the music video for Say Amen. It is so good and gruesome. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video up, share this video. I will see you Sunday. Peace. Life is like a hurricane here.